Hello friends, in this session we are going to discuss some of the problems which arise in priority scheduling. So, priority scheduling is famous for a very famous problem which is starvation problem. And its solution is the aging technique. So, we will discuss in this session what the starvation problem is and what is the aging technique. So, the priority scheduling starvation problem is defined as it is a situation. It is a situation in which the continuous arrival of higher priority processes keep the lower priority process always in the waiting state and the waiting process will starve. What do I mean by starve is that in other words the deadline of the waiting process will never be able to never be met basically. So it will never be met. right? So the process will starve, uh, starve because once the deadline is gone there is no benefit of executing that process. So this is the starvation process since we know that a higher priority process is always given the authority to preempt the lower priority processes. So in this manner the lower priority processes may starve. right? So the solution to this is the aging technique. So what is the aging technique? The aging technique states that uh, OS periodically increases the priority of the incoming processes Thus, the priority of the waiting process increases indirectly. Now, I would explain this. Now, we know uh, that we discussed the example in which we discussed that also in generally, uh, in general, uh, the process which is assigned a higher priority value actually has a lower priority. For example, if I say a priority value of a process is 5 and a priority process uh, value of a process is 1, then generally the process with the priority value 1 is taken as the most highest priority process, right? And the one with 5 is taken as the least priority process. So this point is stating that uh, after some time, OS will start increasing the value of the higher priority processes or the value of the priority of the executing processes. What does it mean? Let's suppose I have three processes P1, P2, P3 and their priority values are priority values are 1, 2 and 3. Let's take them in the same order. Now that means this is the this is the least priority process and this will be waiting till 1 and 2 complete. Now after some time what will this uh, OS be uh, doing? It will be increasing the priority of the executing processes. Let's say uh, the executing processes are P1. Then uh, let's say P1 was executing right and P2 and P3 were waiting. Right. So, uh, now after some time, what will it do? It will start increasing the priority of these processes. How will it increase? It will uh, make this priority value, it will make this priority value 2. Right. So, now this means that these two processes now have the same priority. After some time, what will it do? It will again change the priority value of this process and it will make it as 3. Right. So, this is the manner in which aging technique operates and since now both these processes have the same priority and after some time this will have a lower priority than this. This will be a higher priority process. So, this process will be able to pre preempt this one. Right. Uh, in any case, uh, in the example that I've just mentioned, P2 now has the priority higher than both of them. Right. So, that's all for the aging technique and the starvation problem. In the next session, I'll be taking up the round robin algorithm and then finally, we'll be taking up a, a, a very important question from GATE, previous year GATE. So, uh, that's all for this session. See you all in the next one. Please keep following for more good work coming up. Thank you.